In this lab, we're going to discuss how to use RStudio in the computation of confidence intervals for both population proportions and population means. To begin, you'll want to upload the dataset students15 into RStudio and make sure that it was uploaded correctly with the variable names as headers and not as actually entries in the table. So recall that a confidence interval for a population proportion applies in a situation where you have a single binary variable, for example, birth sex in this example, and you would like to summarize or estimate the population proportion of students at Pacific, for example, who are a particular birth sex, for example, female. Now to begin, you could create a table of values for the variable of interest just to kind of get a preliminary idea. And notice that in our sample, there was 82 females and 107 males. So we could actually compute directly the sample proportion of females by just taking the number of females divided by the total number of students. Now in our studio, the command for executing a confidence interval for a proportion is prop.test. And you can use, you can execute it with this sim single argument of a table that gives, gives the counts of the two different binary options. And so you see here that this, this particular function outputs a great deal of information. The important stuff for this lab is these final parts. The sample estimate here, that's our point estimate for the population proportion. In other words, our sample proportion. And that's exactly what we got earlier when we uh, did, did the simple computation here. We also have our 95% confidence interval, the lower bound and the upper bound. If you'd like to learn more about this function, you can use the help menu and look up prop.test. And you can see that there are some options, some of which may not make sense to you yet, but one of them which should stand out here is this confidence level option. You can see that the default is 0.95. However, if you'd like a different confidence level, you can simply change that to 0.9, for example, and get the same get a confidence interval for this new level. Now, moving on to confidence intervals for a population mean, recall that those would be applicable in a situation where you have a numeric variable of interest. Now, one example from our survey would be risk score. Now, risk score is a numeric variable, and we can figure out its mean, its sample mean, using the mean command. And so overall in our sample, the mean risk score of students was about 30.04. Now the, the R command for co computing confidence intervals for mean is t.test, because recall it uses the t distribution to get the exact confidence interval. And this one's simple to apply. You simply need to enter in a single argument, which is the student risk score variable. And you can see that Again, there's a great deal of output for this function, but the important parts are these last two parts where we have the 95% confidence interval and our actual computation of the sample mean. And as with the prop.test, you can adjust the confidence level to get different confidence intervals as well.